Hello Reds, how are we? Uh, a new idea from the Anfield app. We are going to film sort of a little bit of a behind the scenes thing, but also get out, get outside. We all need to get outside during these times. I do highly recommend going for a walk every single day. It's brilliant for your mental health. I'm going to go for a walk right now along the Mersey, along the waterfront to go and meet Neil, to go and record a preview show for the Anfield app. Uh, we are, of course, previewing Liverpool v Manchester City. So I'm delighted to be getting out of the flat for one. Delighted to go and talk about a big, big game. Uh, and I'm going to try and document me walk, show you a bit of Liverpool, because I know some people are missing seeing Liverpool. And then we'll get a bit of a bit of Neil, a bit of the waterfronts, a bit of the three graces and that kind of thing. It's a new idea. Don't even know what it's called, to be honest. W walking Reds, maybe. Bit of Herculaneum dock there for you, which is where I live. It's now called City Key. But once upon a time, it was a car park for the Garden Festival. But before that, it was also a dock, obviously. And there are, there are some casemates, which was a new word for me, uh, which is where they used to store all kinds of stuff that were brought in from the ships. Uh, you can sort of see some over there, past those people. Uh, they're actually listed then. Uh, so I thought I'd show you a bit of that. Another th little thing to say about all this is that uh, a lot of people obviously do this walk, particularly at the moment. Uh, like I said before, get out the house, uh, get your permitted exercise in and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you, for those that do know the Anfield app and know that the people who are on it, you might even see some people on here from the Anfield app. So a certain Mr. Rob Gutman is known to uh, use these paths, uh, as is uh, another Another one here, Mr. Stephen Warnock, uh, who runs along here. So yeah, you never know, you can do a bit of rap spotting as well as uh, do some exercise. Good for the soul, all that, isn't it? I think, um, you know, we're all a bit cooped up at the moment. We're all not living the lives that we ordinarily would want to lead. But I just think, you know, what, what, wherever you're at in life, uh, and whether you, you know you think oh, I feel tired or the weather's crap or it's raining it's cold you can come up with a million and one excuses honestly if you're not already get out there go for a walk try and do it every day I guarantee you every time you will feel better when you get home and if you're cold or wet jump in the bath happy days got some rain on the lands there so if you've started the you know the south Liverpool end of this walk and you're walking into town we're sort of getting to the point now where you think okay yeah it's not that far now not that much more to go there's a few bits i can recognize here yeah. uh, so i don't know if you can see actually i'll try uh, through the railings is one of the cathedrals the anglican cathedral if you want a cathedral we've got one to spare and all that and you probably can't see it miles away but the Radio City Tower in the distance. We've had, uh, we've had a few surreal moments while we've been doing the Anfield Rap. It's 10 years now, so maybe we should be telling you about them a little bit. Uh, maybe that's to come, we'll talk about that. But yeah, one of the surreal moments was actually the other week filming this preview that I'm going to do now. So we were on the front, setting up, remaining socially distant, of course. Um, and someone stopped to talk to us, said he worked on the Mersey ferries and while they're not running currently uh, they are still maintaining them, working on them, all that kind of stuff and he said, uh, yeah, why, we just always have the Anfield rap on listening in and I was like, hang on, the Anfield rap's being played on the Mersey ferries wow, it's boss that well, one thing I would definitely recommend about Liverpool is getting out and about, visiting it, seeing it, getting all around. But one thing I definitely wouldn't recommend is swimming the River Mersey. Um, but this fella there did just that. Look. John Hulley. He registered the first across Mersey swim in the Grand Liverpool Olympic Festival, 1863. Sooner you than me, mate. So I'm on the home straight now. I can see the liver buildings ahead of me. I can see that there's a naval ship in at the pier head as well. And I'm just coming up to buy the arena, which sign of the times is currently a place where you can go and get coronavirus tests. 
keep getting tested, stay safe, all of that. Just to speak a little bit about the game, we're obviously going to do that in the preview show and you should obviously subscribe and watch that properly. But it's a bit of a weird game, it's, it's weird in so many ways I think in that there's loads of things that you could read into it. So Pep Guardiola, you know, Klopp is almost a bit of a nemesis for him. He hasn't lost games to any other manager more than he's lost to Klopp. He also hasn't lost more games at any ground than he has at Anfield. And City haven't won here since 2003. When you think about what they've won and all the money they've spent and everything else, it's a little bit of a strange one. Obviously, people will look at it, look at Liverpool's form and say, hmm, can't see it this weekend, can't see them, you know, winning this one, they're out of it and all that kind of thing. But the team that plays City won't be the team that play Brighton. It, it sounds like we'll have to keep her back. It sounds like we'll have Fabinho back, Mane back. And we've obviously got the two lads in defence who we could play as well. So it will be an interesting one. And I don't think anyone can truly know which way it's going to go. First one of these videos we've done. I'm lying to you already, aren't I? Um, I'm saying to you that it was the arena where they're doing coronavirus tests. Got, got my sensors mixed up there, didn't I? I mean, it's next to the arena, so come on, give us a break. It's actually the exhibition centre. The reminder there with the test centre, it just reminds you of, of what we're missing, doesn't it? I mean, City's such a big game. You know, imagine what Anfield would be like. It'd be rocking at the weekend. The streets would be packed. We'd welcome the buses. We'd be in there early. We'd have our flags, our banners. We'd make it a cauldron, and I think City have struggled with that at times. And to be fair to Guardiola, it's easy to, you know, present him as some kind of villain because he's manager of, the, of an opposition side. But he, he's acknowledged it. He's acknowledged that it's special. It's a special place that it can help to get results. So it's something, to, something to think about. It's certainly a factor in all of this. Um, I know, like some people are going, ah, listen to the scousers, and you know they're saying that. Uh, you know, they, they miss grounds, they miss full grounds and atmospheres and crowds than anyone else. I'm not I'm not particularly saying that, I've got to be honest with you. But I do think that if you're the manager and you sell the stadium, the crowd, the vibe, the atmosphere to the players as part of it, and then it's stripped away, well, you're playing a different game, aren't you? Just passing now the arena. Uh, it's called the M&S Bank Arena these days. Literally no one in the city calls it that. It's the Echo. It's the Echo Arena and the Echo don't even sponsor it anymore. And everyone calls it the Echo. So, yeah. So it's about that M&S Bank. So now just coming up to what's, what's one of the jewels in Liverpool's crown, if you like the Albert Dock. It's an absolutely brilliant place would in normal circumstances be buzzing you got bars you got restaurants you can buy things there's a take gallery whatever you want there's the beatles museum there as well uh, good place good day out and yet you know of course right now it's not what it what it should be but i think as well you know for older people from the city they'll know that you know it's not that long ago where it was nothing it was dilapidated it was left it was broken windows it was mud banks for those that have never seen it, I'd recommend you watch um, Boys from the Black Stuff by uh, Alan Bleasdale. Uh, you can buy the DVD, it's probably streaming somewhere. And um, George's Last Ride is the episode you need to watch. Uh, and George comes back to the Albert Dock where he worked as a docker in the story. And it's, and it's done in, it's wrecked. And that's how it was left for so long. But it is a, simple, a symbol of what Liverpool's become which is a fantastic place to visit. Um, and if you have never visited, of course, I recommend it. It's fantastic, the Beatles story, you know, I would genuinely get involved. You might know them, you might know the story, you might have all the records, but honestly, it's brilliant. I taught the kids recently, obviously when you could, and it was absolutely superb. Yeah, it's a very weird um, Albert Dock in these times, handful of people, wandering around, people on bikes, people grabbing a coffee from takeaway services, but obviously not what we know and love, not how we remember it, and not why you would normally head here. Um, let's hope things change soon. 
big mad black building there is uh, not all of it obviously a very small part of it is the Anfield Apps office uh, we love working down here it's absolutely fantastic right smack in the middle of Liverpool you can see the mercy out the window it's absolutely brilliant and look here's the boys The boys, told ya, come on down to film a preview show. Yeah, this is this is where we're doing it. So you got Neil. Hello. You've got Sam. Hello. You've got some equipment. And you've got an absolutely brilliant, fantastic backdrop. And, and also intermittent showers, which are berserk because if you look upwards, it shouldn't have just rained. Yeah, we're gonna have a crack now at the preview show. So if you want to watch the preview show, subscribe to the Anfield app, watch it. It will be me and Neil going into detail about Manchester City, about Liverpool, about what might happen on Sunday and hopefully, of course, we are talking about a win for the Reds. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, hope you've had the, enjoyed the chance to have a little look at Liverpool and as I say, listen to the advice, get out there, walk, makes you feel better, you know. You know, normally you can settle on a scenario in your head about how it might go, what yeah. they might do, how, what we might do. I've got about six different versions in my head and I can't decide which one will happen. I'm the same, apart from, I think I think that everything they've done this season, the way they've gone about all the business, says they'll come to be dead souls and up to Nick one. Everything they've done, and when they've done really well, and I mean, I don't mean that as an insult, like I mean that as this, this is good football, yeah. they've closed down, they've got really tight, they keep the ball for ages, but they often aren't really that desperate to score, they're just keeping you at, heart, at arm's length. So I think... The one thing I think will happen is I don't think they'll lose their heads and comers almost at any stage. Like I think if we went one nil, you know, we've said this about Alehouse teams, so they'll just keep doing the same thing. I think West, I think Man City, even if we go one nil, they'll think, well, if we won't open up and they hit us on the counter, suddenly it's two and it's gone. Yeah. So I think they'll think no. Even at one nil, I think they'll be really, really tight if we make it one nil because. They've been so good at stopping. They're not just—it's not just defending. Like it's not. Everyone's talking about Diaz, and I think he's great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I think he's done really well. But I think it's like as a full team and just keeping the ball and keeping the ball and frustrating and blocking passing lanes and all the all the stuff. When you get it back, they win it back off your dead quick. I I think they'll come. And he's done that the last couple of seasons. He didn't get to last year because we scored early. But I think they'll come and think, you know what, a draw's fine. I don't, I don't yeah. think they change now. Us, fuck knows. <laughs> know, yeah. So we are now done. Uh, the preview show is filmed, is over, and you can see some of the boys in the background putting the stuff away, uh, all of that kind of stuff. So if you want to watch the preview show, uh, subscribe to the Anfield app. It's on there. We had a big, big discussion about what might happen on Sunday, what might happen with this season and where it all might go. So you can get onto that uh, on the Anfield Wrap, uh, theanfieldwrap.com, uh, and there it is, you can get involved. Also as well, I should say, uh, before we go, that you can download the Anfield Wraps app and get some free tokens, and that allows you to watch the premium content like the preview show. So yeah, you can get that on Apple, Android, and all the rest of it. So download that, get your free tokens, and you can watch the preview show that way. And let's hope Liverpool win. Up the rats.